Idris Masone's reality show. So where are we at right now? Well, it is Thursday, July 18, and we have a peace and prosperity event scheduled for Sunday, July 28. The peace comes from me having some peace on the beach and the prosperity comes from Mr. Batmasian's book about prosperity. So Renee, Renee Brown so, studied social work and she counsels people on courage, vulnerability, shame, and empathy. She says owning our story and loving ourselves through that process is the bravest thing we'll ever do. So Trump went through that process where he was almost assassinated. It was such a dramatic thing. Very tragic. Sorry about the the attempt and what it how it affected him and his family. So the peace was broken a little bit. But I want to comment President Biden because I decided to vote for Biden because he reset the US dollar and increase the reserves of US dollar in all, a lot of banks. So that's my piece on the beach. It was so beautiful a few Sundays ago. The water felt really good and it looks really good too. And that's me. I, I say that I'm in the path of God's light, but that's the sun coming up. I hope it's a positive thing. Look how it directly fell over me. So I did an act of trust. I paid $5 for the Palm Beach Post. People don't buy the Palm Beach Post anymore. It's like the cost of a magazine, you know. They watch the news online, but I'm trusting that it's the right thing for me to stay in Palm Beach County. Also, my family from Canada, New York, and Washington all went back to those places. So although I text my sister and email my sister in New York and text the others and call them, I use the self-help to keep myself together. So this says, celebrate yourself. No one knows what it takes to be you. You have to align yourself with the universe. And the future is AI, robotics, and one world order. So if you have to start over again, you have to start over again. It says, a strong woman became strong by overcoming all things that were meant to destroy her. We have to fight again. Sometimes we have to fight for what we want. We have to get peace within. Uh, I hope something amazing is about to happen for me. This was a Chinese video of a really strong Chinese girl. She riding that horse, but then she gets off the horse on that side and runs with the horse. So keep a pace with him. That that's a very strong woman. Here's some religious stuff about forgiveness and to let go of hate and resentment. And God will bring us peace into our life. And also it says embrace imperfections instead of stressing over every little detail. So I have new goals now. Although my family is here, I decided that I'm going to become the greatest woman my bloodline has ever seen. People with reality shows. Well, I really like Georgina Rodriguez because she takes care of Cristiano Rodallo's family so well. And uh, keeping up with the Kardashians, they're such a big family. But I met Bing Tracy. I met Tracy Bushpate. And Bing Tracy is such an incredible show. She's so full of life, natural. Here she's at Mr. Bat Mason's office. See that big smile, genuine smile? She's just a radiates joy. And Mr. Bat Mason has that book out called About Prosperity with his assistant. And I actually know this lady here, so... That's a pretty uh, good meeting, full of energy and great people. And there is Tracy in 
being Tracy, she went to Cuba. And for Father's Day, I was able to see her video about Cuba. And my dad's Cuban, so that meant a lot to me. I remember the little things he did, like cook tamales, cook flan, speak Spanish. Uh, but what Tracy added with that video in Cuba was so great for us to realize that when the embargo hit 1958, they had to keep those old cars from then and get parts from China and Russia. That's Havana, Hotel Milia, $10 breakfast. Uh, there was a concert on the top floor, and there's a restaurant on the top floor in Cuba. And here's Chris saying she loves all her kids all the same. And it says we are getting older, so we don't have that much time. So I'm in my coding class. I really labor over it. Like I will understand something and make some notes. And I got some mentoring certificates. And I did some COO documents. So I, this, car, this class is the best coding class right here. It was really good because you get to actually go in and type, write the algorithm and see what's happening. But Charles Severance is really good too. So I saw this robot in China. It's like an administrative manager. It does secretarial work and managerial work. Um, telling people, oh my gosh, I hope I get to be a COO pretty soon and have an assistant like that. But here are the robots that are working in China. They're pretty humanoid and this one is human plus. And this is the one I was talking about. This one is like an administrative manager by the task it does. But I was looking at the new AI software called Tableau and the new AI software called Profit Cohen. I see that Tableau in interface with Salesforce. So it's a pretty good tool. I was here 10 years in e evening classes at EPU, then I graduated 2009, and I'm struggling a little bit with something. I actually was trying to get in a particular company. I thought I'd like to give them a good 10 years now, so I'm going to keep applying to them. And I'm contending strenuously against some things in the system like age prejudice, maybe class prejudice, but I put together a pretty good resume. So one thing I realized that a lot of people get a mental illness where they share themselves with anybody, so they make themselves feel wanted. And I was really glad to see this article because I didn't put those two things together, but that was helpful says you have to match your energy. And then I see a lot of Chinese people in Boca Raton, especially at the 20th Street area. And I know in the Chinese culture, they have courtesy, dignity, and respect, and that's why they bow like that. And I really like it. We have a lot of foreigners here. I have a friend from Egypt. She's teaching at FAU. She, you know, she wears a hijab. She's a very sweet person. But I saw these videos with them kowtowing and bowing, and it shows courtesy, dignity, respect, and gratitude. And I really admire it. But it's not everything in the Chinese culture that I could, I could not live there. So the school of Elon Musk, he said we have to know the underlying principles. He says, winners believe in themselves. You have to increase your value. You have to put complex concepts into words. But what I like about him the most is when he made this video, he said, I'll say what I want to say. And freedom of speech costs him billions of dollars. But he said, I'll say what I want to say. He said, if nobody helps you, do it alone. So that's very courageous. So just because I didn't get the job I applied for at that company, does that mean that success is impossible? Winning is a mindset. You have to understand the game and don't panic. 
So I saw this Megan go and interview Putin and they were doing some mutual kindness because she, Putin was kind to her and friendly and she gave him a good report. She said, Putin, we shouldn't fear him so much. He's strategic. Then, of course, Kamala Harris, is. she's speaking so well now, getting ready for the election. And she's so concerned about women's issues. We have a woman for four years who care about what happened to women. And, of course, Priyanka Chopra, she has a lot of videos that are good to encourage people. Meghan Markle, 11 years old, said, if you do not like something, tell the right people will help a lot of other people. So I'm analyzing everything because this is like the last part of my career and I'm trying to get it right. So I saw this robot in China, the administrative manager, and I said, I hope I can start in a company and, and as a CEO, COO have a be remote and then have a administrative manager who walks around and takes videos at a corporate location as well as working on the computer, etc. This is one robot that's cooking in the kitchen. See that? He's doing stir fry. So that was a little spiritual hygiene that transcends culture and millennia. He says, only news numerals until solved. Only new mattresses, only new wallets, purses, only new love. So I'm having a little kindness and gratitude. So I did experience kindness this session. I got free coffee at the Boca Raton Plaza Hotel. And the lady from Trinidad who works there is so nice. And the guy from Portugal, I think he's from, he's nice too. And that's the Tiki Bar. This is where we're going to have the Peace and Prosperity event. We should have breakfast at the Hideaway restaurant and then walk over to the Spanish River Boulevard Beach. Now, Mr. Bat Mason and his wife, they have a charity called Changing Lives, and he just published his book about prosperity. I want to get a hold of that book. By the time the event comes, I want to hand out just some little suggestions about it. But their charity is really helpful. I use their charity and I volunteer as a hostess on Saturday morning because that's the only place I worship them. So here's his book, Manifesting Prosperity. He's a great person. And his wife, I love her so much. So uh, for, the, for changing lives, the people who are at risk there, we have to stop the negative habits because they drain our energy. And I want to show gratitude to Florida Atlantic University for, well, now I'm using this new desktop. It's really modern and nice. The volume's really high on it and everything. It's really great. And then I was over there in the AI engineering department. I showed them the picture of the robot who is the administrative manager, but they were making like cars or something like that. So they said that robot would be very expensive. Here's Dr. Berry. I love him so much. He uh, published Mr. Batmasian's book about manifesting prosperity. And he prays for us on Saturday morning. So he's he's like my minister too. <laughs> he, he does some good prayers. And here he is with Shane. Shane is a realtor. I failed as a realtor. Uh, Dr. Berry is the director of Changing Life now. And plus he prays really well. So... I, I feel like those things help me feel better. So it took 57 years to get over the Jehovah's Witnesses coming to my parents' house in Jamaica when I was only 10 years old. It took 23 years to get over my son's accident. It took 18 years to get over being bullied out of my municipal job at the city of Delray Beach. It took 10 years to get over losing my condo and my house. But now I'm going to have these boundaries that I'm setting with the help of my life coach and my job coach. I say no to the wrong people in the wrong situations, not my family. 
and we should not allow our right brain to hurt us. You have to stop and think and let your left brain do some of the work. I'm not your China doll. I want to tell my ex-husband that. That means you're not docile or obedient or submissive. Anyway, we don't give up. I'm still trying to get into that company and I was also looking into learning and development jobs and things like that. And there are people who will ruin things for you always. There are people with negative energy. I had to speak to a guy to his face and tell him, you know, I'm not going to talk behind your back, but I had to address a person who to me was bringing a lot of negative energy in a place where I'm a regular per visitor. So this says, nobody watches you harder than people that don't like you. I noticed that. And then Bob Marley said, the problem is people are being hated when they are real and are being loved when they are fake. So I'm trying to be just real. I don't want to go over the history too much, but this is for my sons who suffered most of their lives and were killed. I love him very much and my family sends me pictures and then I love them even more and more. And I'm sorry that I was not able to keep him alive and safe. That's him in Jamaica with his great grandmother and I think he would have been safe if we left him there because my mother's house is right across the street from the elementary school. To jump the fence and go to elementary school. Anyway, the Jehovah's Witness subjugate us so much that we did not get to go before a judge to protect my son. We did not go to divorce court. I don't want to go into too much detail, but that's one of my family pictures. And this is my family again, so we were kind of inter interdependent type of family. Uh, I cannot begin to tell you of the day-to-day -day issues which I deal with and everything I've lost. This is just a little history about the Jehovah's Witnesses, but if you haven't been a Jehovah's Witness, you don't have to deal with all of this. But I found out about this. China is doing a lot of development, and 3,000 people died in the while they were building the Shashuan Tibet Highway. So I call it Bill Kill. I don't know why so many people die when we're, they're building or when, when humans co concentrate on construction and building, why so many people die. Anyway, so this is the ICC court, International Criminal Court. I was headed there because of some of the incidents that happened in my life and I already went to Palmage County Court. This is my little tyke. I miss him so much. I got a deep sinking feeling. My sister sends me these pictures. As a matter of fact, one day I, when I was getting to this page, I was like, send me a pic caller. I said, what are you doing? Send me a picture right now. And she just pulled it out. She pulled out a picture of my dad, my dad's passport, all that stuff. It means a lot to me because my family is nearby. But here's my little tyke. I was not able to keep him alive. Well, I hope I heal before I die. I want to retire happily, and that's a life project. I think I'll be retiring in Europe. I hope so.